Got a piece from this to eat seal. So this was $5. I just thought this was pretty. Um, there was something that exactly like I have. Um, they wanted $125. That is about right with what it's worth. And I believe I got mine for like only $50 at one time. So... Um, now this I had gotten because I wasn't so sure about its authenticity, but I think right now I'm pretty sure, but I don't think this is a genuine Gucci. No. So if you look at it this way, and, um, but 10 hours still, I mean, it was just a chance. And there's no, I want to say there's no number tag in it, so. And the hardware. Does not look like what, um, but they said the people that were lived in this house came over by gotten some of that stuff over in Washington, the state of Washington, we're saying. Now again. And again, I don't think Gucci would have had ones like that on their designer bags. Mm. Now we're going to get to the back side. And again, like I said, no numbers. So, that's like the back of this vet looks like, and I think those letterings is a little crooked. I don't think Gucci would have had its wording crooked because if you look right there, that ain't in alignment with the C's. Um, Gucci would have wanted their logo in perfect alignment when they're on their bags. But. Yeah, like I always say, a lot of lessons to be learned with some of this, but, you know, it's, uh, I think that's why no one bought it was, um, yeah, but I really doubt it to be, you know, gooshy, real gooshy. I mean, if this was a real bag, it'd be worth, I want to say, over a hundred dollars. 
So if you haven't already, please subscribe to the YouTube channel for more content. Don't forget to like, comment, and share the channel. This would help get my channel out there to people that don't know about it yet. Now before we leave, look at the stitching. I don't think that is also in alignment. If you haven't already, and see you in the next one. Okay, bye-bye.